Okay, this is for my painters. Let me show you. Remember this picture that I showed you? So I've been I've been working on this area for about an hour. I don't know if you can remember from the other day. Um, all of those trees there were just kind of blending in, and you couldn't tell who was in front of who of who. You know, it was like they were all kind of on the same ground. But now I've darkened this little guy. I've darkened that little guy up. And I darkened the one in the back up because I thought, you know what? I think I want this instead of having, instead of having this big one right here, um, instead of having him be in front, I decided to have this one right here in front. So what I'm doing is I made the two on the ends the darkest. Okay. Then I added a little bit lighter for this one right here, the big tall one. And then this guy, I'm adding more, like a little bit of yellowish white. Um, remember you wanna stay away from like straight up yellow. So don't take, like look, here's my palette. Okay, let me just show you my palette. Here's my palette. You wouldn't wanna take this straight up yellow and apply it directly to the trees because of how the light rays break up the yellow. Um, but you can definitely take a little bit. Let me just show you. I'm, I'm talking about, see how much? That's not much at all, right? Now I've got this white over here that is, I've just been kind of using it and I'm just gonna do this. See how much white I, I didn't take much, just on the tip of your brush, okay? This is a very dry brush. And then what I wanna do is just take that right here and just kind of dab. Okay, mix it up just a little bit. And then all I'm doing, all I'm doing, you guys, is just taking it and I'm just bringing this tree forward. And if I can just kinda start going in, I mean, this is very tedious work, but when I add the white um, and the yellow mixture, they're kinda mixed together like a yellowish white, and I'm just adding it to some of these branches and the top of these branches, It's bringing that forward so you see what's happening um i still need to work a little bit on this edge right here because i want this tree to really pop forward right now it's kind of muted a little bit um it's molding or these two trees right here melding together i'm getting the effect right here that i want see that that crisp white right there really brought that tree forward okay um so that's, you know, that's the goal of this area. And then look at this area. I'm so close to this painting, I apologize. I'm gonna move back so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let me move back. So here's this portion and then this portion. Um, and I'm almost thinking now that I look at both of them, here's my thought process. You're probably thinking the same thing that I'm thinking. These right here, are a little bit more organic looking um, and rough. I'm not sure that I like the crispness of this side. Do you see that? So what I wanna do, see how this painting has never, that's why it's been a two year process. Um, so I don't want them to look like Christmas trees, you know, and perfect. I don't want them to look like a triangle. So what I want to, I think what I want to do is take some branches and have some imperfections going on. Kind of like this tree right here. This is the real shape of the tree in the picture. Um, when my husband went on this backpacking trip, he actually took this picture. Um, it's in Seattle on the beach. So yeah, I think that I want some imperfections. I want some branches that are kind of coming out and looking funny because that's what nature is, right? Nature is imperfect. Um, oh yeah, so I need to do that. That's my next step. Once I bring that forward, that's what I'm gonna do. I like this little, this little tree's a little imperfect because it is curved. Um, and this one, I, I think I'm gonna leave that one alone. It's these two that are bothering me. So I will fix that. Then I'll come over here and fix this. Um, and then I'm moving on. I finished the background. Remember, we always do backgrounds first. So backgrounds first. Um, and then I think I'm completely finished with that background and the water looks good. 
If anything, I'll go in to that sandy beach and maybe refine it. Um, I don't know if you can see. I'm not sure I like everything that's going on here. Here's a smudge right there that I don't like. There was a stick. There's a stick, just like random stick in the middle of the sand. So I need to do maybe like a shadow. I need to do something there. Um, then when I'm to finish with this part here, bringing out the lights like this one, then I'll be completely finished with that foreground, okay? So I've got my background done, my middle ground almost, foreground. And then um, this is the probably the close. And besides these trees right here, they're going to be closer than these trees. So I really need to work on the realism right here. But before I tackle these, I think I better take care of this hill. So I think I'll finish this. Then I'll finish this hill because it is not in front of these trees. Can you tell? Just by looking at it, it's a little bit farther back, isn't it? So I need to tackle these last. So I hope that helps. Um, just kind of going through, I've, that's how I've learned the best is, is watching people paint, listening to like my professors, I would listen to them and I would listen to them talk about their painting and what comes next and what they're gonna need to do. And, um, you know, just kind of, talking about how these look too formal and these look definitely more organic and realistic like nature and just kind of talking about how that works talking about how you're going to get things to go in front of others things to look as if they're they're you know in front of and there's the overlapping done and and that's just easier I think if you watch and you listen to somebody explain the whole concept but hopefully that will help you um, hopefully we can get outside again and you'll kind of start to internalize some of this stuff you'll start to try to try to make you know make sure you're using the yellows and the whites intentionally to bring things forward and you're you're using those darks to bring to push things back into the painting to create some depth Okay, so I hope that was helpful.